Hey everyone, my name is Marcella Dominguez and if you are new here, I am on my stationary bike and my New Year's resolution was to exercise more in 2021. So here I am killing two birds with one stone and teaching you while I get in some exercise. So come join me. In today's video, we are talking all about can I copyright or trademark my recipe? I've had this recipe in my family for years and years. My grandma makes this delicious soup or my grandma makes this delicious banana bread. Can I trademark or copyright the recipe? I want to protect the ingredients. Is the specific way in which I put the ingredients together protected by copyright or trademark laws? What can I do to protect my recipe? And the answer is that if you have a recipe you've been wanting to protect for a really long time, unfortunately, you are not able to protect it by copyright or by trademark laws. What can be protected by trademark laws is the brand name if you have a brand, the logo if you have a logo, the slogan if you have a slogan, and that would be the brand that you show at the top of your website or it would be the brand that appears on your advertisements, your flyers. It's your business name essentially. For some people it doesn't have to be the business name, but for lots of people it might be. So anyway, I don't want you to confuse that with the contents of a recipe or just the name of the recipe because the name of the recipe is not necessarily protected by copyright laws or trademark laws unless it's a signature product. Say like the Whopper, that's a signature product. The Whopper Junior is a signature product. A Blizzard, a McFlurry, those are signature products. And so those products in and of themselves have trademarkable names. And in fact, some of those are trademarked. So that is different than trying to trademark or copyright the actual contents or the actual recipe for each of those products. So if you want to know how they make the Whopper Junior, that is not protected by copyright. If you want to know what's in the McFlurry, that is not protected by copyright. In fact, if you even go to these websites or you do a Google search for Whopper ingredients, you will see a list of ingredients. Now, granted, you don't know exactly what goes into the meat itself when it says two patties, for example, or if it says cheese, you don't know what ingredients actually went into the cheese or you don't know if they use a specific brand of cheese or where they get the cheese, if it's just from Cisco. But either way, you cannot protect the recipe for those products, but you can protect the name of the product. So I know that can be confusing for some people because people want to protect proprietary information. So I think that what people might want to learn more about is trade secrets. Can a recipe be protected as a trade secret? That is the better question. And the answer is yes, it can. But if you want to know more about how a recipe can be protected as a trade secret or what type of intellectual property to use to protect recipes, then make sure that you hit subscribe down below because that will be in my next video. And I want to make sure that you are subscribed first so that you'll know when I release that video. So stay tuned, everybody. But I want you to know for purposes of this video that if you have a signature product, you have a brand name, a business name, slogan, logo, tagline, then all of those are protectable by trademarks. But the recipe by itself cannot be protected by trademark or by copyrights. So if this video was helpful and I gave you a very important answer because you are a chef, a mixologist, or you are somebody that has a brand that relies on putting different ingredients together, then make sure you hit subscribe and you tell me in the comments below if you knew this information or not. My goal is always that you learn more than you knew before you started watching. So if that was the case, make sure you drop me an emoji down below.